city out here. But what we're looking at here is mullen. I planted it from seed back in October. And it's probably the size of both of my hands put together now as far as like width. And it's going to probably be as tall as I am by the end of summer. Now this is the only uh, mullen plant, it's kind of windy, um, that I put over here. But I plan on planting a lot more of it, um, probably in a row. But I need to see how much territory that the corn I plan on putting out is going to take. All this grass right here from where the plow field starts to the driveway, um, I'm thinking is a really good place to plow up and, and uh, put some corn. Lots and lots of corn. Not even sure if I want to do it in rows or just throw it out there and cover it up and, and see what happens. And um, inevitably because they'll be where the deer can't see all of my little deer crows, <laughs> you know, the little windmills and all that, um, they're probably going to snack on some of it, but the main thing is, is, you know, I wanted um, a little bit of corn over here because this next to the corn, future corn, I guess, and mullein is a nice um, bushy grassy area and we are planning on putting um, the goats out here when we first uh, decided how we were going to lay this property out um, we had originally said the goats were going to be towards the driveway but then I decided that we wouldn't be able to get to them if we needed to if something crazy would happen or some you know dog got in the pen or, or whatever so we wouldn't be able to reach them way out there as fast as right up here where you know a little bit of land can hit some speed if you know what I mean now our family group has um, a herd of Kiko Boer crosses with the Kiko boar, but we're probably going to go a little smaller and do Nigerian dwarfs. And I'm not saying that we wouldn't take on a Kiko weather every now and then for some goat meat, but 